Hello everyone. Recently, a new multimeter appeared on sale, and also an oscilloscope, which pleased with its capabilities and reasonable price. This is an ET828 Pro multimeter from Tooltop. In this video, I will tell you in detail what this device is capable of. In the description below the video there will be a link, clicking on which you can find out more details about this multimeter and, if desired, buy it. Also in the description and in the first comment there will be a link to the Telegram channel in Vexlab, where you will find a lot of useful and interesting information from the field of electronics and modern technologies. Join us. The multimeter is sold in a cardboard box. The front shows the appearance of the device, and the main characteristics of the oscilloscope are also indicated. The sampling rate is 50 mega samples per second and the bandwidth is 10 MHz. The equipment of this device is quite standard, user manual, probes and multimeter. The multimeter is accompanied by instructions and an insert, which explains in detail the purpose of each button. The characteristics of the oscilloscope are indicated at the beginning, the bandwidth is 10 MHz. The sampling rate is 50 mega samples per second. These are very good indicators for an oscilloscope, and although they do not reach the professional level, it will be comfortable to work with a device. Next page, vertical sweep, from 500 millivolts to 2 volts per division. Horizontal scan, from 200 nanoseconds to 10 seconds per division. Trigger mode, automatic, single and normal. When measuring the signal, the device shows the voltage from peak to peak. The average voltage of the signal for the first period, the RMS voltage of the signal and also the frequency. Next, the characteristics of the multimeter. Measurement of constant voltage up to 1000 volts. Measurement of AC voltage up to 750 volts. Measurement of direct and alternating current up to 10 amperes. Resistance measurement up to 60 megaohms. The capacity is up to 100 millifreds, that is, up to 100,000 microfreds. The multimeter also measures the frequency up to 20 MHz, checks the diodes and the electrical circuit. It also indicates what the symbols on the multimeter screen mean. This device has very good characteristics. Now let's check how true what is written in the instructions is. The wire at the probes is quite soft. It is not silicone, but nevertheless, the material is pleasant. The maximum measurement limit of these probes is 1000 volts and 10 amperes. By the way, the previous model of this multimeter, ET828, has a completely similar appearance. There is only a slight difference in the modes of the disk switch and also in the probe connectors. The oscilloscope in this model of the device had much more modest indicators, a bandwidth of 1 MHz and a sampling rate of 2.5 mega samples per second. But still, this device works confidently and reliably. An overview of this multimeter is also available on my channel, if you wish, you can watch it, I will leave a link to it in the description. The device is small, fits comfortably in your hand and has a pleasant appearance. There are function buttons under the screen, then a dial switch for measuring modes and four connectors for connecting probes. This is a common, basic and two connectors for measuring current strength, milliamps and high currents up to 10 amperes. There is also a stand. Now I'll install the batteries and check the device is in operation. The first two points are the oscilloscope, DEC, as well as AC, 
that is, a closed input for viewing only the variable components of the signal. The oscilloscope is controlled using the function buttons, and all the necessary information is displayed on the screen. The AC and DC input type is indicated at the top of the screen, that is, open or closed. Next, scan horizontally. It's now 10 milliseconds to divide. Vertical sweep, 2 volts per division. Then the trigger trigger type, on in ascending or descending front. Trigger mode. It is now set to automatic. The battery charge level is also indicated. Information about the incoming signal is displayed at the bottom of the screen. The voltage is from peak to peak. Then the average signal voltage for the first period. Next is the RMS voltage of the signal or, in other words, the measurement of the true effective voltage of the signal. And also the frequency. The baseline is indicated on the screen, and this triangle indicates the trigger level. That is, this is the input voltage at which the trigger is triggered. Now I'm going to connect the generator to the oscilloscope and see how well the readings match. Using the function buttons, you can adjust the waveform. The F1 button is a horizontal sweep. The F2 button is a vertical scan. The F3 button is a trigger. Clicking this button opens several additional items. The F2 button is the type of trigger, that is, on in ascending or descending front. F3 is the trigger operation mode. The auto mode is currently set. This is a single mode. In this case, the waveform was updated once and stopped, as indicated by this inscription stop. The next trigger mode is normal. The waveform is updated only when the trigger is triggered. And then automatic mode again. The F4 button is the trigger level. It is displayed on the screen with this triangle. The F4 button in the main menu is the brightness of the screen. There are two more buttons under the function buttons. The R button is the automatic setting of the waveform. But using the S button, you can stop the waveform on the screen. The waveform is now stopped, as indicated by the stop label. You can also use this button to save a snapshot of the waveform to the device's memory. To do this, you first need to stop the waveform, and then press and hold this button for 2 seconds. Now you can use the F4 button to save a screenshot. The control of the oscilloscope is quite clear and convenient. And now let's compare the readings on the generator and on the oscilloscope. The generator has a frequency of 1 kHz and a voltage of 3 volts. The oscilloscope also shows a voltage of 3 volts and a frequency of 1 kHz. We see a clear rectangular signal on the screen. The frequency is 10 kHz. The oscilloscope also has 10 kHz and the signal is rectangular. 50 kilohertz. As you can see, at a frequency of 50 kilohertz, the rectangular signal begins to round off. But the problem in this case is not in the oscilloscope, but in the generator. Therefore, now I will connect another generator that is capable of producing rectangular signals with a frequency of up to 8 megahertz. The generator is very simple and built on the basis of Arduino Nano. The output signal is obtained with noise, but it can still be used to evaluate the capabilities of the oscilloscope at a frequency of 10 kilohertz. The signal is clearly rectangular in shape. 50 kilohertz. We see a rectangular signal on the screen. At a frequency of 100 kHz, the signal is rectangular. 200 kHz. 400. 
at a signal frequency of 1 MHz. The waveform can no longer be disassembled. Now I will connect another oscilloscope which has almost the same parameters. Let's see what the waveform will be. The signal frequency is 1 MHz. The waveform has a completely rectangular signal. A sinusoidal signal. The frequency is 100 kHz. The oscilloscope handles this waveform perfectly. The frequency is 100 kHz and the voltage is slightly low, 1.9 volts. Let's look at the triangular shaped signal. The frequency is 50 kHz. The voltage from peak to peak is 1.86 volts. It is also a bit understated. The voltage on the generator is 2 volts. The test showed that this oscilloscope has quite good parameters. As I said at the beginning of this video, of course, it will not work to check high frequency devices with this oscilloscope, but it will perfectly cope with most other repair and tuning work. Now I will check this device in multimeter mode. The first point is the measurement of DC and AC voltage. At the beginning, the constant voltage measurement mode is enabled. A finger battery, and its voltage is 1.39 volts. Now I will connect the power supply and smoothly change the input voltage. When exceeding 25 volts, the multimeter gives a warning signal. To measure the AC voltage, press the F3 button, which corresponds to the cell item. The mains voltage is 239 volts. If you press the F3 button again, the frequency measurement mode is activated. The frequency in the household network is almost 50 Hz. The next time you press it, the borehole measurement mode turns on. Then the DC voltage measurement is performed again. The F1 button turns on the relative measurement mode. The F2 button enables the measurement of the maximum and minimum values, and the F4 button switches the measurement range. Using the S button, you can record the measurement results on the screen and save them to the device's memory. The next position of the switch is to measure the resistance. Check the diodes and the electrical circuit. The resistance is at 10 ohms. The device shows 10.1 ohms. Another resistance at 820 kilo ohms. The device shows 830 kilo ohms. Checking the diodes. This multimeter can easily check the LEDs, since the voltage on the probes is more than 3 volts. The voltage drop is 2.52 volts. Checking the electrical circuit and an audible signal. The next position of the switch is the capacity measurement. Electrolytic capacitor for 2200 microfarads. The multimeter shows almost 2000 microfarads. It took about 5 seconds for this device to measure such a capacity. Of course, this is not the fastest measurement result. Another 10 nanofarad capacitor. Exactly 10 nanofarads. The next point is frequency measurement. To test this mode, I will use a tone generator as usual. The frequency is 440 Hz, the multimeter shows 439.6 Hz, 1206 Hz, the multimeter shows 1205, 20 kHz. On the screen of the multimeter is 19.99 kHz. 
The next two points are the measurement of the current strength, milliamps and high currents up to 10 amperes. I'll check what current such an lead strip consumes. When measuring the current strength, the red probe must be moved to the appropriate socket. The current is 235 milliamps. Another lead strip. The current strength is 359 milliamps. What conclusion can be drawn? The multimeter with oscilloscope function ET 828 Pro is an accurate, fast and convenient device. For its price category, it has very good characteristics and has wide possibilities, thanks to which it will be very comfortable to work with it. This concludes this video. If you liked it, then click the subscribe button so that you don't miss the new video on my channel, which will appear very soon. I thank you for watching and see you soon.